Hello and welcome to the third part of the tutorial on how to use your David SLS2. In this video, we'll go through the scanning process. The scanning process will consist of recording surface features while manually rotating your object. Now with the setup calibrated, I can now remove the calibration panel and replace it with the object to be scanned. I place it on the red dot which I placed on the table in the previous video to keep my object in the correct position. Now I go to the Structured Light menu on the left side of the screen. Here are a few settings you should be aware of. The Pattern Parameters submenu will affect Scan Quality and Scan Time. I will use the default settings. Select the Auto Grab Texture if you want the software to record color texture with each scan. When you, begin, when you gain experience with scanning, you can select Auto Add to List to speed up scanning. This automatically adds the scans to the Scan List menu. I will not adjust any result filtering setting for the scan. They are set to default. The Smooth filters smooth the 3D scan, and the Quality Check filter removes scan data that it thinks is inaccurate. Before scanning, double check the aperture. Make sure that the red side of the are not being cropped by the blue lines. Here I'm adjusting it again. That looks good. We are ready to scan. I, pr I press the scan button to start my first scan. You'll see a series of patterns in varying widths and directions from the projector. The camera will record them, and the software will determine the object surface contours. This is the basis for structured light scanning. To review your scan, go to the Shape Fusion menu. What you see is the texture that was recorded. Click on the rainbow icon on the top menu to switch between texture and mesh scan or shell. I am not pleased with the color of the texture since it doesn't look like the color of my object. I will go ahead and remove the scan from the list of scans on the top right hand corner. Go to the texture menu on the left side and press adjust white balance. This calibrates the system in order to measure color correctly. The color is better. It would be more accurate if I use a large white object to fill the whole live view screen while adjusting the white balance. It's good for now. Go to the Structured Light menu. Again, the Align Previous Scan Selection helps you to accelerate your workflow by aligning the current scan to the previous scan. It will align on the next scan because I just erased the previous scan. Let's redo the scan. The texture is much better. Let's look at the mesh scan by clicking on the rainbow icon. You'll notice that I picked up a surface segment from my stand. I don't need to remove it yet because in my experience it will not affect auto alignment. If I picked up other extraneous scans in the background, it would affect auto alignment, so it would need to be cleaned out. More on the cleaning tools later in this video. Let's go back to Structured Light menu. Now I start to turn my object. I do about 30 to 45 degree turns for each scan until I have scanned the whole object. Let's start on the second scan.
here we see the beauty of auto alignment process in real, in real time. Go back to the Shape Fusion menu to review the scan. It looks great and I'm happy with the alignment. Go back to Structured Light menu to start on the third scan. Turn the object a second time. And let's start on the third scan. Now we see the second alignment in auto alignment in progress. The scanning process now becomes a step and repeat process. Scan and turn, scan and turn until we have rotated it completely. Turn the object a third time. At this point in the video, I, will sh I won't show you the rest of the scans. You get the idea. I will jump over to the eighth scan. We are now at the tail end of the eighth scan. You can see the software has auto-aligned all of the scans. All of the scans look great and they've all been properly aligned. As you see, I've picked up the multiple surface segments from my stand. Now it's time to remove these segments using the clean tool on the top menu. Press the cleaning button until it turns red. I like to position the scans at a side view so that I can grab all the segments in one cleaning. The cleaning tool is currently in the polygon mode. So right click around the segments until you have all of them and left click to end. Click on the box with the X to erase the selected segments. They look great. Now it's time to scan the bottom feature of the object. Go to the Structured Light menu to begin a new scan. You'll notice here in the screen capture I chose the Calibration menu instead. It's okay to view the Live View screen there. Tilt the object on its side to scan the bottom feature. Make sure the camera sees the bottom base and one of the shoulders. It must be noted that the auto alignment process might not work. If the scan has enough distinguishing features common to the previous scan, auto alignment will work. Start the scan. If the alignment doesn't work, you'll need to manually align the scans to another previous aligned scan. I'll show you how to manually align in a minute. As you can see in real time, the software is struggling to align the scan. Go to the Shape Fusion menu. As you can see, the alignment gave us a false solution. Let's turn off all the visibility of all the scans. Turn on the last unaligned scan and try to find another scan with similar features to align to. I will try to align the edge of the right shoulder with another scan. I will speed up the video here while I look for another scan with, co with a common right shoulder of the unaligned scan.
when I have found another previous scan with the same right shoulder. I will use the Align button in free mode with the contact pair selection checked off. I select the unaligned scan object shoulder first. Then I select the Align scan object shoulder. Here the software will use the common features as a reference for alignment. Let's look at the scans now. They look great. Now it's time to clean the surface segments of my stand from the current scan. Go to the cleaning button on the top of the menu and erase the surface segments. Now let's capture the other bottom feature. Now position the object so that I can see the other side or shoulder in this case. Start the scan. The software is auto-aligning the scan. It appears to be a positive result. The scan is finished. Turn off the visibility of all the scans and turn on the visibility of just the last one. Now I clean the surface segment of my stand from the scan. Now let's look at the auto alignment results. It looks fine. I'll do a quick overall inspection. I do see a small gap between the current scan and the previous scan. Just to be safe, I'll go ahead and do a quick manual line like before. Again, pick a feature on the unaligned scan first. Then select the same feature on the other aligned scan. It looks better now. Well, this concludes the David SLS2 scanning video. The fourth or the final video will cover the fusion process and output to mesh file. Thanks for watching this video.